Hey guys, what's up? Um, it's that time. It's that time in the month again. Uh, <laughs> that's all. It's so fucking weird. Um, it's that time in the month again. Uh, it's the WWE pay per view this Sunday, so I'm right here to do the predictions for how in the cell. 2021 on June 20th 2021 uh, this is gonna be the final pay-per-view from the Thunderdome because next month uh, is the return of the fans so it's been a good you know uh, I know a lot of people hate the Thunderdome uh, because you know the WWE gets to control the the crowd noise and all that stuff I get it you know I understand but at the same time um, I'd rather watch the Thunderdome with, with screens and everything then rather than an empty performance center like the for, for the first couple of months of the pandemic. Should be nice to get p fans back in attendance, so I'm looking forward to that. Anyway, enough about that. That's next month. For, to, to, this month we have Hal in the Cell, and we've already had a preview of Hal in the Cell when uh, earlier, you know, about a couple of hours ago. As uh, as I record, as uh, Roman Reigns uh, was scheduled to take on Rey Mysterio at uh, at at Hell in the Cell, but they changed it last minute. Like I think it was uh, Thursday night, set at fr early Friday morning. They changed it so they did it on SmackDown this evening, this after this this this, uh, last, uh, this evening. Jesus Christ, Navin, get your fucking teeth together. So anyway, uh, so yeah, Roman Reigns retained, um, so we got a couple more matches, so stupid, you know, because I was like, oh, I'm going to get ahead, I'm going to, I'm going to get ahead of, so I don't have to write all the predictions down at once, I started doing the predictions early in the week, so I had to cross Roman Reigns' name out, oh well, I, uh, thankfully I didn't do a video uh, early in the week, <laughs> like some people, um, you know. That's their opinion, but anyway, let's go, let's start, uh, so, to get to my notes part, we have the first match according to this, Jesus, this isn't going to be in order by the way, this isn't going to be in order because, um, I wrote these matches down for what I can remember of, so anyway, we have, uh, Rhea Ripley defending the Raw Women's Championship against Charlotte Flair, um, I got Charlotte Flair on this one. I feel like uh, Rhea Ripley, since Mania, since winning the title, hasn't really felt like the champion. Like I think Charlotte came back like the neck the night after WrestleMania, and I feel like Rhea Ripley is just as well as Roman Reigns would say on SmackDown. Rhea Ripley is just a title holder. Like he, he, she's not a ch she's not she hasn't been treated like a champion. She's been treated like a title holder. Like a person who's just holding the title for until someone big comes along, and I don't know, maybe maybe I might be wrong on this one, but I feel like like I don't want Charlotte to win. Like I would like Rhea Ripley to get a bit more, you know, get a bit more out of this title reign. But the way that it's been going the past two months since she won the title uh, hasn't filled me with um, what's the word. Hasn't filled me with joy, so to speak. You know, hasn't given me hope that it's going to be a good title reign. Uh, so, maybe she'll win, but I just feel like Charlotte's going to win. And then be a 13 or 14 or whatever freaking title reign she's got right now. So yeah, I got Charlotte Flair. <laughs> Then we have the match that was just added uh, as a Hell in the Cell match. It was it was announced uh, a couple weeks ago, but now it's going to be inside Hell in the Cell. We have the SmackDown Women's Championship match. We have Bianca Belair defending the championship against Bayley in a rematch from last month at WrestleMania Backlash. Um, so Bianca beat Bayley with a little bit of shenanigans, if you want to call it that. With the hair, with, with the hair um, wrapped around Bailey's leg, even though Bailey put it around her own fucking leg. Uh, so this is the rematch. Uh, the entire feud since WrestleMania Backlash has been basically Bailey laughs, 
Ha ha ha. Not like that. Yeah, Bailey laughs and then Bianca laughs and who it's a battle of who who gets the last laugh, so to speak. Um This is inside this is inside Hell in the Cell, as it was it made official last night on SmackDown a couple of hours ago. I got Bianca Belair on this one. I feel like Bianca Belair is gonna win this and then she's gonna move on to I don't know how I don't know. Carmella maybe? Probably Bailey again. Uh, Sasha Banks maybe coming back in the, when the fans come back, so maybe Sasha Banks can get a rematch. Who knows? I would like Liv Morgan to get a title shot, but that's just me. So anyway, yeah. But as for now, uh, I got Bianca Belair to retain. Um, you know, first Hell in the Cell match, first her first Hell in the Cell match, and uh, yeah, that would make Bailey Owen two in Hell in the Cell matches. That's another story. <laughs> But yeah, so I got Bianca Belair on this man. I'm gonna, I'm gonna st uh, start picking this up because I've just realised I've gone six minutes so far and I've only talked about two fucking matches. We have the WWE Championship on the line. This is pop This is most likely going to be the main event. Now that Roman isn't wrestling, and we have Bobby Lashley, the champion, taking on the W, uh, the challenger Drew McIntyre. Um. I know a lot of people have been saying that Drew's going to win this, but I don't know, man. I got this idea, this fantasy, maybe it's just me fantasy booking, but I got this idea in mind that Drew's going to go to SmackDown to face Roman. Um, so I got Bobby Lashley on this one. I got Bobby Lashley to win this match uh, to retain the WWE Championship and then possibly move into a little bit of a feud with Kofi Kingston, maybe for the WWE Championship. Um, so yeah, there you go. I got Bobby Lashley to win this one. Uh, hopefully this review can be over after that. Because, um, you know, it, 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 it's getting a bit... I think this is the kind of last straw in this feud. You know, Hell in a Cell should be the end. Should be the nail in the coffin of this feud. Let's get it over with. And let's, let's send them down their separate ways, you know. Then we have um, my personal favorite match, my personal match of the of the of the night that I'm lo very looking forward to. We have uh, Alexa Bliss taking on Shayna Baszler. Uh, as you, you know, as you probably know from the Raw reviews, uh, I absolutely adore Alexa Bliss's new character that she's been playing for the past eight months or maybe a year almost. Um, I wasn't happy with the Fiend stuff at WrestleMania, but that's another story for another time. Um, yeah, the thing that she's been doing recently, I, I actually kind of like. I know a lot of people don't like it, and I understand that, but, you know, I like it, so. And this is my channel, so I like it. <laughs> this is my channel, so I'm going to speak up, and, you know, it, it is what it is, man. I, I like it, and uh, this match, um, hopefully, I got Alexa Bliss to win this one. I got Alexa Bliss to win this one, and um, I feel like she's going to move on and hopefully win the Women's Championship. Uh, unless, unless my favorite fiend comes back, but I don't really see what point there is if the fiend comes back and costs this match and Alexa's first real feud in this new gimmick. So I've got Alexa Bliss to win this one. I'm sure if Alexa Bliss does win, there's going to be a bunch of, um, uh, wrestling YouTubers like Wrestle Talk and Cut Holly are gonna cry and whine and complain about Shayna lose it. Shayna Baszler, the le legit MMA fighter, losing to Spooky. But yeah, it is what it is, man. You get they're gonna moan either way. So, so let's um, yeah, Alexa Bliss there win this one. Moving on to the matches, to the two matches that were just added um, tonight on SmackDown. Uh, we have Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn. Um, what can I say about this match? Uh, I saw it at WrestleMania. There was no real story there. I, I, I feel like this match needs more of a story. And I, I understand it's Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. It's going to be a great match. I'm not, saying any, I'm not taking anything away from it. It's just that like, I, I would like a little bit more than just, oh, it's Kevin Owens versus Sami Zayn. They're going to have a good match, so let's send them out there and have a good match. 
Um, we did we did that at WrestleMania, and because the, the entire WrestleMania build was built around Logan fucking Paul, and so Kevin Owens can stun him, and I was like, that was great, cool. And it was a WrestleMania moment, and then of course um, Kevin Owens beat Sami Zayn clean at WrestleMania, and then they've just continued the feud. So I would like this feud to end, but I don't see it ending because uh, at the moment I don't see any plans in the future for Kevin Owens or Sami Zayn. So I don't really feel like it matters who's go, who, who wins, but I've got Kevin Owens to win this because I want this dumb feud to end. I like Sami Zayn, I like Kevin Owens, I know they can put on great matches, but I've seen it for, the, what, a thousand years now. I don't need to see them fighting each other unless there's a really good story behind it. I don't want to see them fighting just because it's Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn. I know that might be an unpopular opinion, but it's, uh, you know, I'm not, I'm not taking it away from the competitors. I'm just saying, like, it's going to be a great match, but I've seen Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn have that great, those great matches before. They're going to throw each other on the apron. They're going to do this. They're going to do that. It's great. But every time you do that match, the impact gets less and less because it's like, well, they're not. And at this point, it feels like they're not even feuding over anything. It's just, oh, it's Kevin Owens with Sami Zayn. Anyway, I rambled about that enough. So let's do the next one, which is another uh, rematch from WrestleMania. We have Cesaro taking on Seth Rollins. At least this one... I have a less of a problem with. I still have a problem with it, but I, I have a less problem with this one because at least there's a little bit of a story going into it. Where Seth took out Cesaro a couple weeks ago with a curb stomp on the steel rampway. So Cesaro's out for revenge. That being said, I've seen this match at WrestleMania as I, as I just said about Sami Zayn and Kevin Owens. I know they're going to have a great match. It's going to be a fantastic wrestling match. But I've seen this match. Cesaro beat Seth at WrestleMania. Clean in the middle. Then he beat him again on SmackDown to get the title shot against Roman Reigns at WrestleMania Backlash. And then he lost to Roman Reigns clean. And then Seth attacked him. And now we're back to Seth versus Cesaro. And it's been kind of comedy the last two weeks with Cesaro stripping Seth to his underpants last week and then this week, this week on Thingy Way pushed him out of his chair. That was the go-home edition of SmackDown. So hopefully, as I said for the Kevin Owens one, uh, I hopefully Cesaro could win this match and then move on to something else. This isn't me bitching and moaning because, you know, this isn't me bitching and moaning just for the sake of it. I just, I feel like WWE are doing these matches so often with like Kevin Owens and Sami Zayn or Cesaro against Seth Rollins that it's making me not want to see that match and I know how good those talents are but because they're doing it so often I don't want to see that match now they're making me not wanting to see that match that's my problem anyway less about that Hell in the Cell um, that's it guys that's the uh, all the matches I got Cesaro to win this one that last one so there we go, that's the match card for Helm's Cell. Um, let me know what you think in the comments. And uh, if you like it, uh, if you like the uh, if you like the predictions, that's you know, give it a thumbs up. If not, um, I, I I apologize. Just my opinions. Um, but yeah, I hope hopefully uh, hopefully Helm's Cell will be good on Sunday. Maybe, uh, maybe I won't be a negative Nancy, so to speak. And, uh, yeah, hopefully Hell in the Cell will be good. Have a good time, people. If you're watching Hell in the Cell on Sunday, have a good time. Not, knock it out the park. Have fun. And uh, I'll see you next time. Right here. And I'm out.